All right, welcome back to LearnWire. We're gonna be doing something a little different in this video. We're gonna be exploring some of the new plugins, um, or at least attempting to, um, inside of ChatGPT. Um, you can see that they've changed their layout a little bit uh, recently. You can see that they've changed. Now you don't have to do a drop down. You can just one click away. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, so you can choose a GPT-4 or a 3.5. They did away with a legacy. So there used to be two versions of GPT-3.5 that you could choose from. Um, now they're just uh, make basically defaulting to just one, right? So there's two options there. Another thing that we'll maybe, uh, maybe explore, leave a comment below if you want me to explore some of these keywords everywhere options. Um, these actually have come in handy. Um, where I've been able, been able to just click please continue, that's really helped. Um, and then if we come over here, you'll actually see under templates, there's a bunch of different things we can do. And this is keywords everywhere. Um, I didn't really do anything extra to get these installed. I think that it's because of the uh, extension somehow. Um, they linked this extension with automatically having this installed, something like that, because I didn't really do anything, but they're now inside of my chat GPT. Kind of interesting. I might uh, mess around with that in another video, but for now, let's go. And I haven't watched any other video so um, just bear with me um, I completely don't know what I'm doing as far as um, how to um, install the plugins um, I saw one person using like an SEO plugin I want to go see it, how easy it is to find and use okay so we're gonna come over here and let's go over to settings and then it looks like if you go to beta features um, you can turn on web browsing and you can turn on plugins now I don't know the answer to this um, if you're able to turn all this stuff on in the free version or not um, it says as a plus user. Okay, so I just answered my own question. As a plus user, enjoy early access to experimental new features, which may uh, change during development. In this case, web browsing, try a version of ChatGBT that knows when and how to browse the internet to answer questions about recent topics and events. So this is um, that web scraping ability that um, has been my complaint over the last six plus months that, um, you know, this uh, technology has been out, ChatGBT, and it's just been taking over the internet by storm. Uh, if you go to their site and you actually look at like the vitals of the site, like their traffic is like two, almost one and a half, almost two million visitors a month. So it's uh, one of the uh, highest traffic websites on earth. Um, and so they're faced with handling that amount of traffic as well. But um, looks like they finally have a stable version of, um, you know, and a lot of information. Um, and so they've finally added the dream come true web browsing and web scraping. So super cool. Uh, gets to a point where there's really nothing that this uh, software, this AI is not going to be able to do. Um, again, uh, other tools, though, I think will always be relevant because they'll always uh, think of creative and innovative ways to use this technology that is outside of what um, the scope um, is of um, ChatGPT, right? So uh, I think that there's always going to be validity uh, and value to third-party um, apps, uh, depending on what um, what problem they are solving for users, right? Um, and then we have the plugins right here. Try a version of ChatGPT that knows when and how to use third-party plugins that you um, enable. So we just enabled that, <clears throat> uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and push refresh um, on the browser real quick. Okay, perfect. And you can see this. I use this. I use this every day in my business at this point. Uh, super cool stuff. I'm going to hover over uh, GPT-4. We have our default, we have our browsing mode, and we have our plugins. Let's go and select browsing mode. Um, looks like GPT-4 currently has a cap of 25 messages every three hours. Um, so let's just say um, who won the NBA um, playoff game last night. I'm not even going to tell it what teams played or anything let's just push enter and see if it can answer browsing the web right now um the nba playoff game result of may 18th uh, that's correct because today's may 19th so it's looking at the game last night and i believe it was the lakers uh, yeah, it was the Lakers and the Nuggets. So let's look. The Denver Nuggets won their NBA playoff game against an unspecified team. Uh, so that right there, not good. Um, uh, with a score of 108 to 103, um, let's go and look at the NBA score. NBA scores. Um, let's go see. So it was 108 to 103. So that is correct. But, you know, the fact that it's it's not pulling up the Lakers, it's kind of that's kind of interesting. Um that part right there just shows that there's still some limitations and it's not perfect against an unspecified team with a score of 108. Thanks uh, to a standout performance by Jamal Murray, who scored 23 of his 37 points in the fourth quarter. That is 100% accurate as well. 
uh, the Miami Heat also won their game against the Boston Celtics with a score of 123 of 16, but that was the day before. So you can't, you know, 100% rely on this, but this is be- way better. Um, and there, the possibilities um, are going to be there for sure um, for it to get factual information for us. So it did get the Jamal Murray, it did get the 23%, uh, 23 points in the fourth quarter correctly as well. He did get 37 points. Uh, points Uh, just a couple little things that it didn't get right was it didn't say the lakers against the lakers um and then we didn't ask for it to talk about the miami heat and boston game which was the day before so um that's interesting um maybe we can say when is the next nba um game and let's just see what ends up happening Uh, browsing the web here we go um and then what does this hover over if we click this um search nba reading content finished browsing so it just gives us like a path of how it came up with the information um so the next nba game is game two of the eastern conference finals between the miami heat and boston celtics which is scheduled for today at 8 30 p.m we can click over here it actually um, is getting a citation right here or a reference NBA playoffs right here, how to watch game two of the Heat and Celtics, right? So, um, and it is at 8.30 p.m. Um, on May, um, that's not May 29th, it should be May uh, 19th, uh, right here, game two, May 19th. So um, that is pretty, pretty uh, sick, if you ask me, that is able to do that. Of course, this isn't the first actual technology that has been out. There's been so many other applications that already beat uh open AI or chat GPT to the game, um, uh, to doing web scraping and so forth. There was, there was apps that um, actually did this, um, the first couple of weeks that, um, chat GPT came out back in like, what is that November or December of last year when chat GPT um, opened up and, and got its big craze and millions of people flooding to the site and it's the coolest thing on earth. Well, they couldn't even scrape the web. And so other people built tools on top of that and actually show that you can do that. Um, and it's actually pretty easy to do. Um, but it's cool that they finally arrived at this. I mean, cause we're talking, you know, in uh, chat GPT's defense, um, they have, a you know, a 1.5 billion people coming to their site and they have tens of millions of millions of users that are using their platform for free as well. And so, um, it's, um, you know, the server space bandwidth, all that, those kind of things, the resources is a, a lot bigger thing for them to worry about. Um, so this is game changing. This is super, super cool. Okay. So I'm going to start a new chat and let's go over here and look at, um, what we can do next, which is the drop down menu and go to plugins. So this should pop out some different options. No plugins enabled, but then we do a drop down right here. A plugin store. Okay, cool. So plugins are powered by third party applications and are not controlled by OpenAI. Uh, be sure to, you trust the plugin before installation. I don't know if it's actually installing it on your machine or not, but or if you're just installing it kind of um, as like an overlayer um, on top of um, the the cloud, if you will. Plugins uh, connect Chat GPT to external apps. Okay, so they would be different apps. Um, if you enable a plugin, Chat GPT may send parts of your conversation and the country or state you're in the plugin to enhance your conversation. Chat GPT automatically uses uh, chooses when to use plugins during a conversation depending on the plugins you've enabled. Okay, cool. I like that they filled us in on that information. And here's what the plugin store looks like. Uh, We are zoomed in quite a bit, so you can see um, we got the plugin store. um, And how many plugins are there? So there's one, two, three, four. So there's eight plugins on each one times what, 10? So that would be 80 plugins. I want to push next, uh, go to 10. Yeah, so there's 10 pages of about eight on each time. It looks like there's about 79 applications if I had to calculate uh, right off the top of my head. Um, So there's gonna be a bunch of different, uh, we could go in here and just check out, look at Brainwork has done something, find keywords, generate context briefs, all that kind of stuff. it is interesting to see um, some other AI platforms, content generation platforms that have built already built their app on top of this, which is interesting to me because, um, you know, I, I mean, I guess it just is just interesting. I don't really know what else to say other than because I mean, wouldn't Brainwork want to take people to their application to write content uh, and and make arguments that their content's better or that they that they are using? Maybe they're using OpenAI, and most of the good ones. Um, are using OpenAI um, as far as content generation, AI content generation softwares. Um, I guess I just, I'll just leave it at that. I think it's interesting that they're kind of like teaming up with uh, with OpenAI 
uh, to put their plugin on there, if you will. Uh, but I'm gonna go, uh, let's go look at the most popular. We got Instacart, Expedia. Um, so we're starting to get to a point where now we can maybe tell uh, if we install the Expedia app uh, and then we say, hey, find me um, you know, the lowest cost uh, one-stop flight to um, so such and such, right? Um, in June, um, you know, between the hours of 5 and 7 p.m. is the departure time or something like that, right? Like maybe this app is uh, and using the, the chat GPT and the fact that it mm -hmm. has web browsing capabilities, maybe it's going to be able to do all of that right away. And in, in a sense, you guys have seen what Google is going to be doing with their um, AI search um, in the future, in the near future, is going to be able to do things like this as well. But yeah, it's just really cool to see that like OpenAI already beat Google to it and we're, we already have this capability. Super, super cool stuff. We got Kayak over here as well. Um, so those look like they're the um, top 2468 right here. Um, I'm going to go to, um, okay, so these are the new plugins. I'm sorry, guys. I just need to know my way around. So it looks like there's uh, about 80 new plugins, but if we go to all plugins, um, I'm going to go click on 11 over here. Okay, yeah, so it looks like there's about 100 plugins, um, not not too shabby right now. I'm sure this is gonna grow like crazy. Um, I don't see where you can actually search uh, for a plugin, so I'm gonna go ahead and just look for the one that I'm looking for. Okay, so there was a plugin here that I have seen some other people using. It's called seo.app. Uh, but then I just read on a forum that it's actually gone for now and they have to do some re-verification with OpenAI to get it back on here. So it's not here. As soon as it gets back up, I will uh, do a video on it. It looked very interesting. But for now, let's install WebPilot. There's a couple of um, ones that would be more in, in SEO and so forth um, on page, what, nine? Um, there's Brainwork. We can also look at that as well. And then there's, a, there's this one over here, One Word Domains. Um, this one could be cool too, to try to find some really short one word domains for your next website project as well. So that might be really cool as well. But let's go over here, web pilot, and let's just see what it looks like to install one of these. So it installs, um, I'm going to go ahead and exit out. And then it's going to basically install kind of on, I don't know, if, I, I wouldn't imagine that it's actually installed on your actual desktop or machine. It's like it's installed on your cloud version of OpenAI or ChatGPT. Because we can come in here and we have a uh, web pilot, we can go ahead and um, enable it or, um, you know, you can take the check mark off or on. So right now there is um, the web pilot on there. And then if we wanted to go and do something like, let's say, um, best dog breeds for, and let's go over here, best dog breeds for emotional support. Let's get real specific and we'll go and check out the top 10 ESA dog breeds, uh, 11 best emotional support dogs. Cool. Reader's Digest. We'll come over here. We'll grab this URL. We'll come back over to ChatGPT and let's just say, give me um, 10 viral article ideas based on this URL. And then I'll paste that in and push enter. And the plugin is enabled. So it does look like it is going to go ahead and use the web pilot so that's actually interesting um kind of messing around with this seeing how this works firsthand i didn't watch any videos on like uh, how to properly use this but it just looks like it's pretty self-explanatory that basically what it looks like it's doing is uh ChatGPT is going to be smart enough to to utilize any enabled plugins that you have if you have the web search turned on where it has access to the internet and you have plugins installed like right now, if I say, find me a cheap ticket, it's not gonna be able to use the Expedia um, uh, version because we don't have that installed. But if you did do that, then it would most likely use that. So here we go, use web pilot based on the content of the article 11 best emotional support dogs. Here's 10 viral article ideas. The science behind why dogs uh, make the best emotional support animals, how to train your dog to become an emotional support. So you literally could build an entire YouTube channel or blog based off of just this one freaking article. This is insane, guys. The legal rights of emotional support dogs, like these are great topics that are slightly different in nature. Every one of them is different. So really, really cool stuff. Um, so that's kind of how you could use that. You could put multiple URLs URLs in there. Um, we could have this, um, I don't know, let's say, let's um, write an article outline that includes um, 10 H2 headings and does not copy, but uses 
similar ideas from this URL. And then what you could do is you could actually say from these URLs and you could um, actually provide it from two, three, four URLs. I'm gonna put this uh, in here and we're gonna just see if it can do this for us. So it's using WebPilot again because we're doing kind of SEO type stuff. Um, and that's what WebPilot is for. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens when you have multiple um, multiple plugins, SEO plugins installed, which one it will decide to use. If someone else comes in and they have one that's similar to WebPilot, which one will it use, right? But based on the out of content outline uh, right here, we have understanding the role of emotional support dogs, um, service dogs versus emotional support dogs, the impact of emotional support dogs. So this is going to be like an insane way to use ChatGPT to create a very in-depth, relevant, um, high-quality um, article outline. Then you could go and write this um, in ChatGPT, or you could go and plug this into your favorite AI article writer, and then you could bust out a two, three, four thousand word article um, on this topic right here. So super cool. One more last thing I wanna do is I do wanna go back over to uh, plugins and go back over here, and we're gonna go browse the plugins one more time. Oh, plugin store right here. And then I want to actually go all the way to the last one. Um, they do need to add a key, uh, a search uh, feature right here. As this, uh, they start getting more and more of these. We'll look at brain, uh, brain work. Leave a comment below if you made it this far in the video, and if you want me to do a video on how brain work works um, with the plugin, um, that would be really, really cool. But I want to check out that domain uh, scraper. So we're going to go with install right here, and it looks like it installs it right away. And so um, check the availability of a domain and. Uh, compare prices across different registers. Um, I really don't know how to use that, but um, okay, so we have that one in, uh, enabled. Um, give me 20 available domain names um, in the dog training niche. Let's just see uh, what it's going to do. It should automatically use that domain scraper right here. Uh, we'll see what it's going to end up doing for us. Give me 20 available domain names in the dog training niche. Um, it's going to use one word domains. Oh man, this is sick, you guys. It automatically knows what plugin to pull from. And then, so you're gonna basically have this power packed tool um, with ChatGPT. It's it's just going to get better and better. It's expanding. This is uh, mind blowing what it's able to do for us right now. It is interesting that they're able to, they're letting a lot of people in um, to build tools around op uh, OpenAI and ChatGPT, like Keywords Everywhere was able to um, kind of get in um, and with their own template tools and so forth. So here we go. We've got uh, poochprogress.com, doggydiploma.com. And what we'll do is we'll come back over here and we'll just go bulk domain checker GoDaddy. I'll open that up while it's uh, doing that. And we'll click over here and it's researching, please note that the availability of these domains. So here, uh, what did I say? I said 20, but it only gave me eight. Not really sure why it stopped. Please note that the availability of these domains can change quickly. So if you're interested in any of them, I recommend securing them as soon as possible. I apologize if you hear a dog barking in the back, that is my little pup. Uh, we have a six month old puppy and she wants me to let her out right now. So I'm fixing to go down there and do that. But I'm gonna copy these. We're gonna go in here to the bulk mode and paste and search domains. Let's just see what comes up right now. Um, so all available, they're all available right now. We've got uh, canineclevercom doggydoctorate.com, canine capstone, puppy um, pediology, or whatever that is, doggy diploma, bark brilliance. Um, these are awesome names. Bark brilliance, doggy diploma, uh, pooch PhD, uh, pooch progress. Super cool. A couple of them are really, really good. Um, so that would be a great pro uh, process. And you guys saw how I do that in my niche AI niche website um, case study. How I did something similar, and even just ChatGPT um, uh, four um, does a pretty dang good job. About seventy or eighty percent gets you there. Um, but then this just adds on. Um, another layer using the one world, uh, one word domains, super, super cool stuff. And you can see, I guess if you can click on that, you can actually see what's going on here. It's actually going out and searching and doing all that ahead of time. So it is kind of foolproof. 
this is really cool stuff. I'm gonna probably make more videos on how to use this in your business, but that's a couple of different ways, a couple of different tools. I just did this live right in front of you, um, checking it out. Thanks for joining me in this video. If you like this kind of content, make sure you uh, like, subscribe, and turn on that bell notification so you get more videos like this. I do a lot of software reviews. I do a lot of um, SEO and uh, you know case studies and tutorials and so forth. So uh, you wanna jump in. We're also doing a giveaway this week. So if you want to uh, be in the uh, drawing to win a free piece of software on AppSumo this week, all you need to do is like, subscribe, and comment on every video this week, and the drawing will be on Monday. All right, I'll see you in the next video.